Welcome back. Power plant's still there. Yeah. Ain't much progress on this end of the layout. I still gotta attach feeders. But I've got a bag over there of um Scotch lock double blade uh connectors. Got my glue out here. It's getting pretty chilly out tonight. It's supposed to snow tomorrow Sunday, and so I know I won't be able to do this. Now this box here, well, those boxes and those two cars, all things that I need to sort through of what I'm gonna keep and get rid of, but they're all too modern or too busted up to worry about. There's some of my boxy cars. Those are all 50 foot boxy cars. I don't have any 40 footers. I thought I did. Um, I've got my turnout sitting there that I'm about to place in. As you can see, one pack is open. I had to reattach my caboose ground throw after filing all that. Still ain't where I want it to be, but it's getting closer. And I need to re-glue in some foam that decided to pop loose. I'm not even touched that yet. <laughs> I've got all this still left to carve. I'm trying to move as slow as possible. Um, I still don't know if I should just save that and put it up on a shelf or if I should give it away or sell it for more materials. Um, that was the Sparky contest that I won. Uh, of course, I'm going to keep my big hook. I've got a whole yard full. My Maryland Central switchers, I am definitely going to keep, but they won't be on the layout. There's my little American back here that I still need to finish with. Whole stack of cars that I got to fix. And I got a little test project here, which I'm going to be doing a video on. As you can see, the turnout throws from the Caboose Industries ground throw. And that's about five inches, four inches away. And it's going under the tracks because I wanted to see how much of a pinch it could have to be able to still operate the turnout. And of course it ain't gonna work if it won't stay put. Which I can't get it to stay put one handed. But I'm gonna be going under some tracks over here with them. So I can still operate my ground throws. Um across from the yard. Which I know everybody said is possible, but I want to do it without any tubing or special kind of stuff. I just want to go right in underneath the tracks. There's all the wire to do it. Which is steel wire from KNS. And this whole bundle only cost me like 45 cents. <laughs> I've got more ground throws here. And I use the sprung ones. They are for HO or N. And they are sprung. So... You can throw them the whole way, and they still have tension on them. Um, coming around here, let me put this down. The roundhouse still ain't moved yet. There's my little car with the uh, posty tack on it. It is for when I run my camera car. My camera car sticks right to that just fine. And we've all seen that video, but I ain't doing another one of those till I get a little bit more scenic. As you can see, I still got foam to carve. I've got some foam that's already started to be carved. I'm gonna fill in some holes here and here. Um, same on this side, because I want this to be a little bit bigger of a hill. I've got more foam in there. Waiting for that to cure. I still need to carve down these big blocks, but they're kind of like matching profile boards right now. When I cut them down, I'll add more foam to match up. And then in here, I have all this pretty well done. I know I'm going to be moving those tanks further back in the corner for Madison Fuels. 
which reminds me I better put the rest of the cars on for Madison Fuels. Sorry. I guess you guys could watch me put two cars on the tracks. I need to get some uh, new trucks and couplers. Anyways. Madison's Fields is one heck of a long spur. All right. Now, get around here, and we got a box of crap. My little track cleaner. So I can clean my track as I go. Um, even being this cold out, the train's still run on this layout. So, it is outside, and... Those three bay hopper cars, thought I was going to get rid of them, but they're all dated in 1935. So, I know if they was made before 1935. Now, that's the grand overview of the layout. Ain't really nothing new there. Oh, look, there's a hopper car. That's loaded. That one's loaded. What's this? Oh, yeah, that's right. I got a mine. Now, I'm going to be adding some foam to the back here so you won't be able to see the back of this building. So, I don't really need the conveyor that came with it. Um, I wish I could uh, move that hole to, like, this side and run it to this way. But, I don't really feel like doing all that cutting and pasting and everything else. A lot of you guys out there... When you build kits, you like to kit bash and move things around and stuff like that. Me, if it's a kit, I got it for speed. I just want to slap it together and be done with it. Um, I will be adding lights and all to it later. Hence why all roofs are removable. Because they're all going to have lights underneath them. And I'm going to be drilling some pinholes down through the floor so that light bleeds through to go under where the loader is so as trains are backing in and all there's some light so that they can see what's going on uh, the slack loader which my pad is just big enough I had to remove a little bit of tracks and I want to make it look like yeah some tracks were abandoned at one point in time when they built up the tip wall a little bit more so that's all in there and i think before too much longer i'm gonna try my hand at hand making turnouts uh, turnouts are getting a little expensive they're up 17 dollars for the custom line you know no frills these turnouts um i like them they operate really well but 17 dollars a piece um and I still got a dead frog. Um, I think it's high time that I learn how to do that. I've never hand laid track before in my life. Um, I've been in this hobby for over 20 years and I've never hand laid a single section of track. I think it's about time to learn the skill and that way I could run my cost a lot lower biz. Code 55, I can get 40 rails. They're three foot in length for less than $40. I've got plenty of matchsticks I can make ties with. And they sell the copper PC tie. Um, you can get the board itself. You get 10 of them that are about, I'd say the size of a sheet of paper or foot by nine inches um you get 10 of them for about seven bucks at most uh electrical supply stores and that's enough to do i don't know i think one board would be enough to do probably two three pieces of flex track if not 10 or 20 pieces of flex track his ties are pretty narrow. And then I guess for the rest of it, I would just get um, 
regular matchsticks because that's about the size of these ties is the matchsticks or toothpicks might be the square toothpicks um i'm done so this is my overview for sunday which i realized right after i posted my video yesterday that tomorrow is not valentine's day i looked at my calendar and unfortunately one of the days were marked off so when i looked at the calendar my kids had already marked off the entire week leading up to valentine's day Ugh. we still got a week till then so this is it these are already carved down to where i can add more that i just sprayed literally not more than an hour ago it is 37 degrees right now and we're supposed to get uh four to six inches of snow tomorrow with my job i do snow removal so if it snows i can't work on the layout and that's the reason why you guys got a nighttime uh catch up a train last sunday instead of an actual video because I couldn't get out here to do anything for almost a whole week. This whole week has been pretty well shot. I hadn't had a chance to really get out here either because I was busy mounting a snow blower to the front end of my riding mower that does not quite match up with my riding mower. So I had to modify my riding mower to match the snow blower and it's on there and it works just fine now. Why is there two packs open? Oh, never mind. Those are two old packs from last week. All right. Well, I'm going to head back in this house because it's cold out here. My little heater is not plugged in. And it doesn't really heat this that well. But it does stay warmer in here than it does outside. Except for the fact that the backside of my tent is wide open. I'll have to flip my mower deck back over. All right. Y'all have a good one.